Marketing like this implies that you can get some pretty impressive results using a foam roller. But the reality is that, at best, foam rolling only gives a small temporary improvement in the appearance of cellulite. And there won't be long-term changes. You know, spend your money, potentially in yourself, and have practically nothing to show for it. Now, that's typical of a lot of products marketed for cellulite. But the good news is clinical trials show that there is massage you can easily self-apply that uh, does give you excellent lasting results. Now what I'll do in this video is run over why the likes of foam rollers are a complete and utter waste of time, then show you what does work. So let's start with why foam rollers won't work. Now if we look at the pick comparing normal tissue and cellulite, we see that the main problem is that the fat cells are much bigger, causing the tissues to expand and bulge out. Now that's why hips and thighs get larger and have a dimpled appearance. So, what do foam rollers do? Well, to put it simply, treatments such as foam rolling only temporarily squeeze the fluid out from the tissues and maybe flatten them a bit. It does nothing to reduce the amount of fat in the cells. Now, it'll temporarily improve the appearance but the fluid will gradually seep back in and, and the elasticity of the flattened tissues will cause them to bounce back. In other words, it's just a matter of time before everything returns to exactly the way it was before. Now you may read that foam rolling and some other therapies help increase circulation. Well they do, and as I'll discuss, increasing circulation is very important. But the amount and duration of any increase you get from foam rolling is too small to have a significant effect. So, what does work? Well, scientists have found that the reason the fat cells are so big is that the circulation in these tissues is poor. Now, what happens is your body stores excess energy as fat, but when it needs the extra energy, because of the poor circulation, the fat isn't efficiently reabsorbed. Now what happens is your body absorbs the fat from the part with good circulation but leaves the fat in areas with poor circulation. Now understanding that, the way the scientists successfully reduced cellulite in the clinical trials was to increase the fat circulation so the fat gets reabsorbed normally. Now of course it takes time for the fat to be reabsorbed so the circulation needs to be kept up for an extended period of time. Now this is why, as I said before, the small amount of the increase you get from squeezing out the floors with a roller, or for that matter, any one soft cellulite massage is not going to do it. Now the way the scientists kept the circulation up was by using repeated massages that were specially designed to increase circulation. If you're thinking now that regular specialised massages would be very expensive and very inconvenient, don't worry. The best massage to increase circulation is one you can easily do on yourself for practically no ongoing cost. And I'll certainly be showing you how to do that. Now, just to show you what's possible, I've summarised the clinical trial results in an article linked in the description. But this table shows exactly what was achieved in one trial of just four weeks. Now, what it shows is the actual measurements of hips, waist, and thighs before and after. Now we can see that the measurements reduced by from one and a quarter to nearly two and a half centimetres. Now that was only four weeks. Now if you kept going, probably more fat would be reabsorbed. Now the self-massage the scientists used was vibration massage. Now scientists have found that vibration at the right frequency is great for increasing circulation. Now what I'll do now is first show you the way the scientists applied the vibration because the things they used are something that you may already have at home. Then I'll show you the best way to do it. Now the two ways the scientists applied vibration were by using vibration platforms and massage chairs. Now looking at vibration platforms first, they're the things like shown in this pic. Now they're designed to have people stand on them but what the scientists did was use them to directly apply the vibration. In other words, people did things like sit on them to vibrate their backsides. Now they're not designed to be used like that, so there are better options, but if you have one, the scientists found they help. Now that said, there's a lot of marketing saying that if you use vibration platforms as they're intended, 
they'll then help cellulite. Now the reality is that practically speaking just standing on vibration plates doesn't increase circulation and in no way targets cellulite. Now what they do is enhance exercise so you burn more calories. Now, your muscles need to work much harder to maintain the balance. Now this helps reduce your total amount of fat which in course may include some cellulite. Now that's why the ads we'll see will always have things like helps reduce cellulite when combined with exercise and a healthy lifestyle. Now the other self massage the scientists used were massage chairs. Now these were the vibration type, not the ones that feel like they're needing you. Now massage chairs are expensive, take up a lot of room, and it's hard to specifically apply vibration to parts of your body such as the front of your thighs. Now, also their vibration frequency is usually not the best for increasing circulation. However, if you have one, the scientists found that they helped and you can easily sit relaxed uh, having a massage while you're watching your favourite TV show. Now, the scientists probably use platforms and chairs because they are readily available, but let's look at how we can do it using equipment especially designed for the purpose. That's a genuine therapeutic vibration massager. Now the easiest way to show you what these are and how they work is to use an example a lot of people will have seen. Now this pic is a, of a vibrating compactor. Now if you haven't seen one before, they have a flat contact pad that vibrates and send huge amounts of vibrations deep into the ground. Now, genuine therapeutic vibration massages work in a similar way. Only of course they give vibrations that are designed to have a therapeutic effect on your body rather than compact the foundations. Now, a word of warning though about massage guns and percussion massages. Now, their market is using vibrations, but they're really not suitable. Now, to show you why, simply speaking, massage guns are designed to drive their heads into your muscles, working more like a jackhammer. Now, if you compare a jackhammer and a vibrating compactor, they both vibrate. But the compactor sends those vibrations deep into the ground, whereas the jackhammer's vibrations are used to smash the surface. Now it's the same with the genuine vibration massager versus a percussion massager. Now the vibration massager will send huge amount of vibrations into your tissues to increase circulation, while the percussion massager will pummel the surface. Now, to stay safe and get the good results, you really need the proper equipment, so I'll pop a link on how to choose one in the description. So, once you've got the proper equipment, let's show you what to do with it. Now, keep in mind that this is general information only to be discussed with a professional for me with your specific needs. Now, using a genuine vibration massager is very simple. Basically, all you do is sit the machine on the cellulite tissue and let the machine do the work. There's no need to use any special massage skills. Now, what I'll do here is pop a link in the description to our basic users guide, which will give you the hints and precautions. That way I can focus here on the important things for cellulite massage. And that's the vibration frequency you use, plus when and how long to apply it for. Now, looking at the vibration frequency first, scientists have found that the best frequency to increase circulation is about 50 hertz or cycles per second. Now, a lot of machines give their specs as RPM or res per minute. 50 hertz is 3000 RPM. Now, I mentioned before that the massage chairs didn't have the best frequency. Now, from memory, they were from 18 to 36 hertz. Now, that's not ideal, but gave some increase in circulation. Now with the proper equipment, we can do better. So when and how long do you apply it for? Now in the trials they did things like long daily applications such as 30 to 60 minutes. Now we can do better though. In the trials where scientists have used vibration to increase circulation, they found that if you apply 50 Hz vibration, the circulation will rise steadily for about two minutes, then level off as long as you keep applying the vibration. Now what happens though is when you stop the vibration the circulation takes about 30 minutes to slowly return to normal. Now because of that, instead of sitting there with the machine on for 30 to 60 minutes, use several applications of a few minutes each. Now every time you do that, you bring the circulation up to the high level and then you get the 30 minutes of raised circulation while it returns back to normal. 
Now with that, I'll give you a simple demonstration. Now I'll put a guide to choosing a massager in the description, but when you go looking for it, you'll find that 95% are either consumer machines designed to be Mother's Day presents rather than genuine therapeutic devices, massage guns or both. And that's why a few years back we built our own. Now, this is our general purpose massager. Now you'll see it has a vibrating head that's optimised to give the therapeutic vibrations and a proper ergonomically designed handle so you can easily use it anywhere on your body. Now, the on and off switch is underneath and has a variable speed control on top. Now it runs from about 30 to 60 hertz. Now if you remember I said about 50 hertz is good for increasing circulation so you use this machine at about 80 to 90 percent of full power. Now our other machine is the quad head massager. Now if you look back at the construction compactor it has a really large vibration plate at the bottom. Now there's some vibration massages that copy this. Now the problem is that the laws of physics say that if you have a really large vibration plate your machine is going to have to be really heavy and it's going to vibrate like hell. Now we actually had a machine like that in college and our hands would go numb after using them for a while. Now what I've done with the quad is to have four heads uh, so some are going up while others are going down. Now that means that it delivers a full amount of therapeutic vibrations but the mechanical vibrations in the machine largely cancel out. In other words you get the full benefits of the big heavy machine but it's lighter and much nicer to use. Now for dealing with cellulite this machine will easily and comfortably deliver huge amounts of therapeutic vibrations to increase circulation. Now the general purpose massage will do a great job but it works in a smaller area with less total vibration so it'll take a bit longer. Now for the demo I'll use the general purpose massage because a single head mechanism is quieter so I can talk on the video at the same time as using it. Now all I do is working through a layer of cloth or clothing, I set the machine on about 80 to 90 percent and I set the machine on the cellulite tissue. We'll pretend I've got some here because it's easy to see. Now you have just enough pressure so it keeps a good contact. Now there's no need to press in or move the machine around. Now all you do is leave it on the spot for three or four minutes while the circulation increases. Now as I said before, once you take the massager off, you'll get the increased circulation for about half an hour. Now all you do then is have some system or pattern so you can apply three or four minutes to each of the parts that need it. Now this is why the quad massager is so good. And because it's uh, covers a much larger area and sends a much greater volume of vibrations you'll need a lot less of those three or four minute applications. Now this is very safe and quite easy to do so you can repeat multiple times per day if you wish. Now within reason the more you do it the more your circulation is increased to reabsorb the fat. Anyway if you have any questions or comments feel free to email me or pop them in the comments. Now if you want to get one of our massages just go to our website. Now we can send one direct or there's about a thousand clinics that use, recommend and sell them. Anyway thanks very much for watching it has been most appreciated.